Good morning, it's J Bo. It is Friday of my fourth week of training. Time for a little update. I am once again back in Russellville, Arkansas. It's the weekend for my trainer to go home. My training is wrapping up. Um, I basically have everything done that I was supposed to be trained on. I'm very, very, very close to getting the amount of hours in the driver's seat I need. So it looks like in the next few days, I believe the lists come out on Wednesday, I'm going to be upgraded to my own truck, which could be at any of our terminals, Chicago, Dubuque, Iowa, Kansas City, Texas, so on, so on. When I get my own truck, my trainer will get a load headed towards one of those places at which point I will get dropped off get my truck and most likely get a load headed back towards Mount Vernon at which time I will finally get to come home for a few days and take care of some stuff and see my family and play a little golf and uh, decorate the truck the way I want to decorate it and then I'll get back on the road and uh, get to work. Looks like I'm going to be by myself for two or three weeks while my partner Rod Childress wraps up his training. And when he's done, Rod and I will team up together, hook and book, until, uh, until my wife's ready, probably towards the end of August, 1st of September. She'll be all done trained, and then we will be together. So, uh... Some thoughts on the training. Um, you know, it's very similar to anything you train on throughout your life. Any job you've had, uh, factory type work, whatever, where the first couple weeks of training, you think, oh man, I'm never going to get this, or I'm not understanding what the trainer's saying. And then the second two weeks, it comes into play a little bit more for you where you're like okay I'm understanding this I think I got this and you know my trainer's been giving me more and more and more freedom and then about the time you think you got it you realize you're almost done and then you kind of have the thought of like oh man I'm getting ready to be by myself like do I have this so you start ratcheting up your attention more and more and more and uh one tip, if anybody's coming out here to do this and you're watching this, I was not a big note taker in school growing up. Uh, any of my teachers watching this video will attest to that. But out here, now that I know I'm pretty close to being done, you better believe I'm taking notes on everything. Everything. Something simple like... Uh, how do you pay your lumper fees, which are the people that unload your trailer? I mean, I have a whole page in a notebook wrote down step by step. Push this button. Call this phone number. Do this. Do this. Do this. Write down everything because a week or 10 days from now, it's all on my shoulders, you know. And obviously, your first whole year of trucking, and anytime you're trucking, but it's, it's very, very key to be extremely safe and be on time so I will say it seems like my company gives Hirschbach gives plenty of time to get your loads there so just always be safe you know and one of the reasons I wanted to train in the winter it's been nice to be able to pick my trainer's brain or watch how he handles snow wind fog rain uh, I've really leaned on his opinions and advice hard in the weather. And the truth of it is, you're, you're in control of that truck. And if you're not comfortable with the weather, don't drive. It's just that simple. Or just go slow enough for conditions, you know. Other than that, I don't want these videos creeping out too awful long. I know people's attention spans like mine aren't that long, but... uh I really, really enjoy the job. 
I'm really looking forward to Rod getting done with his training. He's a wonderful man, and I'm looking forward to us teaming up. I'm really looking forward to getting home for a few days. And then I'm really looking forward to my wife getting out of here in a few months, you know. For our goals, from now till September, I know that's just a short time, and it'll be here before I know it. And uh, that's about all there is, just... Keep praying, keep learning, keep trusting that you're on the right path. And uh, before long, I'll be out there on my own. So the next video you see, hopefully, will be me uh, just showing you my very own truck. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, put them right down here. I, I get back to all of them when I can. The students aren't allowed to be on the phone while they're driving, so I just kind of wait and pick a day and I'll look through that stuff. But... Man, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you watching the videos this long, and uh, God bless.